I'm gonna be honest, I got some smoke with Metro. I just seen him do an interview. Bruh. You see yeah. what I'm talking about? Yes. I just seen him do an interview with Savon last week, <laughs> and I forget what the, the journalist asked him, but they asked him something along the lines of, you know, how do you feel about rap fandom mm -hmm. with hip-hop? And he goes, oh, I hate the fact that everybody has to pick a side. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at him Stay like, culture. was you not the one tweeting? <laughs> Is the album called We Don't Trust You and We Still Don't Trust You? Is that not picking a side? <laughs> Did you not tell people to pick a side when the whole thing was going down? Now things have calmed down a little bit. Y'all done caught the dub on that side. Oh, it's it's just music. It's just music. He being politically correct, man. You got to yeah. keep it cute in front of the white folks, he man. Was, he, like the he sat down with Forbes. I forgot. Yeah, he, he was it's talking like the to Forbes. So like, yeah. I get it, but bro, like you... You contributed to that culture of people being that way. Like a caveat, many so. people would think you were the determining factor for future. Rolled out two albums off pure hate, like pure off pure hate, and niggas knew who he was hating on. Like he did make BBL Drizzy, right? No. Or remixed it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like he, he sampled, sampled, it, sampled it, right? someone else. and put drums over. Turned it, it into a <laughs> nationwide beat challenge competition. Right? Like, bro, is that not picking us up? Like, that ain't though. Come on. No, no it, it, crazy. it works. Yeah. It works more for him though. It's just like, yo, do you not see the part you played in all of this? Twin? Yeah. <laughs> It ain't that deep, y'all. Have y'all never been beefing with nobody? See, as, sure. Come but, on now. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going to attack that you, and in, in public, I'm uh -huh. going to act like it ain't nothing. But from like, Jump Street, I'm going to be neutral, right? I'm going to be like, I'll, I'll say how I feel from Jump Street. With him, he was literally telling us, pick a side. Yeah. You got it down that hill now. Yeah. Yeah. You said that. <laughs> if I hate you now, I hate you forever. And that's on period. Thanks, I ain't going to lie. No, that's word. on period. These motherfuckers be trying to, hey, man, you know, I'm really talk I'm talking to Forbes, all right? <laughs> I, really got, I really just love yeah. what it does for the culture, man. Like, shut the fuck oh, up, God. nigga. You had me screaming, Bro. BBL. Dude. We wrapped over here. We, we, right. we did he a whole freestyle to know podcast. over here. We wrapped over that shit. <laughs> yeah, nah. You, yeah, that, that, on, I think son. I did see that interview. And it's just weird whenever you get some of these people who who seem like they don't stand on business. Mm -hmm. Like, he seems like one of those kind of flip, floppy like type. Of, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. sorry, Reggie. Yo, like, <laughs> like J. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> Last week, I don't know if y'all saw, but um, uh, Rory and Maul, they had, they, they, they talked about the J. Cole situation. Yeah. And it's funny because I felt like, like, I know I had this thought, but I was happy to see that somebody else kind of mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, looking at J. Cole, Looking at what he's done over the past, let's say what, four, five, six months, Armand, you would know better than me, yeah. right? You in the trenches with this music shit. Yeah. But over the last few months, it seems like J. Cole has had a pattern of linking with the quote unquote ops yep. of a Drake. Yep. Yes? Yeah. No? Yeah. Absolutely. Do, do, do you have the recollection of Future, ASAP Rocky, Daylight? That's three. Yeah. Isn't it one more? Uh, well, he did. Uh, he did the T Grizzly song, but that's not odd. Uh, like, that's, yeah, that's neutral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All we know, shit. Just, that's true. Yeah, we we, we don't know. <laughs> Facts. And we just know. Pick, speaking of like picking a side, has J Cole picked a side in your opinion? I I 100 agree with what Maul said in that Drake has made it just clear he's not fucking with niggas, and so niggas can either try and repair the relationship or go on their way. But we talked about it on the show too, like. Yep. Drake is not innocent in all this, and I, I would never act like he's a victim. Like, he's rubbed a lot of people the wrong way to the point where they wanted to form a fucking Avengers to take him out. <laughs> and we don't know what happened between him and Cole. Like, just the shift from them being on tour together to then Cole dropping a, a diss against Kendrick, apologizing two days later, staying silent, and then popping up on Future's album. Like, that verse didn't have to come out. Mm. He, he could have easily said, nah, to take the verse off Red Leather. But he left it there, and he's continued to work with niggas that Drake don't fuck with. So I, I think it's just pretty clear at this point. And, and Kendrick um, told us that he did cold foul, so yeah. We, we, I guess the pretending is done. We we don't know what he meant by that, but, but foul is foul. We still don't know. We still don't know. Okay. We still don't know, but foul is foul. Yeah. And Cole's an Aquarius just like me, so yeah. He can flip flop all he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. Yeah. But you know what? You can flip flop if you talented. Because people gonna forget. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now. Yeah. People are just more impressed with his verses and his guest features in the mm -hmm. run. Yeah. They're like, oh shit. Oh yeah, he ran away. Who cares? Like, yeah. It kind of dies away. He's 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 played it perfectly in doing the shit like Grippy, which I know y'all had a, <laughs> Grippy. a whole segment about. Mm -hmm. Like doing the fun okay. the fun shit that niggas could joke about, like kind of just like popping out, doing that, linking up with a, a popular rapper in Cash Cobain getting that out the way and then getting back to his real rap type shit like Thanks. enough time passed where like I mean people are still giving him shit for what he did but 
niggas also undeniably love these verses. So mm-hmm. right. it's just like, no matter what you say, like he's still him. So 